and I'm talking about Pakistan. Now, the country's foreign minister, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, launched a personal tirade against Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, to which India's external affairs ministry has hit back hard, saying that Bhutto's comments were a new law even for Pakistan. This exchange came in the backdrop of Pakistan, placing the onus of controlling terrorism on other nations. External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar gave a befitting response to the Pakistani reporter who had charged India with supporting terrorism, showing the mirror to Pakistan. Jay Shankar said that the reporter was asking the wrong minister and that the Pakistan Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari is the one who needs to respond on how long Pakistan intends to practice terrorism. The External Affairs Minister also quoted what Hillary Clinton had to say a decade ago when she said that if you keep snakes in your backyard, you cannot expect them to only bite your neighbours. Beyond this, he indirectly called out China for their double standards at the UNSC and said that evidence-backed proposals for counterterrorism were put on hold without assigning adequate reasons. The question of justifying what the world regards as unacceptable should not even arise. That certainly applies to state sponsorship of cross-border terrorism. Nor can hosting Osama bin Laden and attacking a neighboring parliament serve as credentials to sermonize before this council. It is the ministers of Pakistan who will tell you how long Pakistan intends to practice terrorism. The world is not stupid. The world is not forgetful. Uh, and, and the world does, you know, increasingly call out countries and organizations and people who indulge in terrorism. So my advice is please clean up your act. Please try to be a good neighbor. Hillary Clinton was visiting uh, Islama, uh, Pakistan, Islamabad. And uh, Hina Rabani Khan was a minister at that time. And I think standing next to her, Hillary Clinton actually said that that if you have snakes in your backyard, you can't expect them to bite only your neighbors. Eventually, they will bite the people who keep them in the backyard. Uh, but as you know, Pakistan is not great on taking good advice, uh, and you see uh, what's happening there. Uh, the world today sees them as the epicenter of, of terrorism. All right. The world today sees Pakistan as the epicenter of terrorism. That is what Jay Shankar had to say. Uh, Ambassador Prakash continues to stay with us. Ambassador for a country that not only propped but also funded and sustained the Taliban, even harbored bin Laden, and is now paying the price on its own border with Afghanistan with loss of civilian lives. Is Pakistan now losing its own international credibility at multilateral platforms like the UNSC when Pak's foreign minister Zardari directs a personal tirade against Indian Prime Minister Modi? The MEA, of course, has called it a new law even for Pakistan. It is a new law for Pakistan. It is an act of desperation, but there is little surprise because Pakistan is, or Pakistani leaders, are are completely disconnected with reality. The country is going down the black hole and they are expediting the whole process. Mm. Uh, frankly, and it saddens me to say that, that Pakistan has no credibility because uh, their entire foreign policy is based on lies and uh, export of terrorism. Uh, the country is going to dogs, there is political turmoil, there is economic uh, uh, ruin, and yet they continue behaving the way as if nothing has happened. The problem also is that A, uh, there is a dysfunctional polity in Pakistan, but also they have the support of a country like China, mm. which aids in the best terrorism and protects them. Uh, so. Uh, that is the challenge, but this country is so seen, it would seem, that they refuse to learn from past mistakes right. and are, uh, are likely to commit it over and over again with even uh, more devastating results. But that is the Pakistani polity for you. All right.